Orvis Orozco grew up in Sacramento, had straight A's, got accepted into some of the nation's top universities, but as an undocumented student, he says the scholarships he received were taken away. It's a really big struggle not to be able to have financial aid. It's, it's maybe one of the worst feelings that you could have. He ended up going to UC Davis and had to work long hours to make ends meet. While uh, I was going to school at UC Davis, I worked in the fields summers uh, to pay for my tuition, and it was really tough, to, you know, going to school. Orozco turned into an immigration advocate and helped push for immigration reform, both at the state capitol and on Capitol Hill. It took us almost five, six years of organizing for the California Dream Act. During his last year in college, the California Dream Act became a reality and he qualified to receive financial aid. It made a world of a difference because it covered a large portion of my tuition. It also covered my books and uh, rent and a few, uh, a few other uh, things that I, I had to purchase. He wants young people in his same situation to know that their college dreams can come true if they apply for financial aid. Apply for everything, apply for the grants, apply for the scholarships. Education advocates say it's still a challenge letting students know that help is available. It's just been since 2013 that undocumented students have qualified for financial aid. There was nowhere to go. People were even scared to ask questions. At UC Davis, this new undocumented student center on campus has helped Irvis and hundreds of other students like him. I want to really thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Now a college graduate, Irvis has his eyes set on law school. I know that it's doable. It's going to be really hard to go through it, but eventually you'll see that you can become a successful person. At UC Davis, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. And to qualify for cash for college, you must submit the FAFSA by March 2nd. FAFSA forms can be intimidating, and that's why KCRA 3 and the Student Aid Commission will help with the Cash for College call-in. On Tuesday, experts will answer your questions about Cal grants and other financial options from 4.30 a.m. to 7 p.m.